to all World Bioeconomy Forum followers from all over the world. Today, we are very proud to bring you an exclusive interview with Praj Industries Executive Chairman, Dr. Pramod Chadhari, who is also one of our highly revered members of our advisory board at the forum. Dr. Chadhari recently received the very prestigious 2022 William C. Holmberg Award for Lifetime Achievement in the Advanced Bioeconomy. Dr. Chadhari will be given the Holmberg Memorial Address at the Advanced Bioeconomy Leadership Conference in March this year, and is the first recipient of the award from Asia. Under Dr. Chadhari's leadership, Praj Industries has developed the technology for conversion of cellulosic biomass to second generation renewable fuels, biogas and chemicals and materials. Dr. Chaudhari, great to have you with us. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mark. Nice to be here with you. Excellent, excellent. We'll go straight into some questions. So first of all, congratulations on receiving the Holmberg Award. We were so pleased to hear about this recognition and we in the World Bioeconomy Forum very much support this acknowledgement. So how does it feel to receive such an award? Oh, that is a great feeling because uh, the Holmberg gentleman, Lieutenant Colonel Holmberg was called godfather of the uh, biofuel industry in USA. And he did a little pioneering work in the beginning for the, on behalf of the Department of Energy. Uh, in his memory, this award is instituted. And luckily, it so happened that I had done some similar work, not to that level of homework, but in a similar manner in India. And I think that is being recognized by uh, these organizers with a Lifetime Achievement Award in his memory. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with the acknowledgement. Yes. Very much. Right. Well, fantastic. And congratulations once again. Thank you um, very much. So now to focus on you, um, you've actually done some exceptional work in the field of bioeconomy. Can you please describe your backgrounds and your activities in the bioeconomy so far? Well, I'm an engineer by qualification and I started, I founded the company Praj somewhere way back in 83, 84. and always believed in doing the work of processing agri-waste as a starting point and that agri-waste giving a value addition to agri through a proper processing has been my motto. Because we feel that the, ultimately India is a uh, farmer-centric farmer country. Mm -hmm. About 70% of the population is depending on the farms. And to provide some kind of opportunity for them to increase the, their income, a rural economy and rural upliftment, this plays a very important role. And that's where I started focusing on agri-processing as a, as a criteria for my business activities. So it so happened that along the line, uh, the movement for bioenergy started growing, not only world over, but also we started some work in India. The main thing was uh, providing biofuels for addition to uh, fossil fuels. And that was the main point, apart from the traditional business of using uh, agri-waste or agri-products for uh, paper, pulp and paper and other for making a use in boiler. But the one which we have started, which is the processing of agri-products for converting them into biofuels, was a major landmark work which me and my company were trying to do. And that is being appreciated by the local authorities also. Okay, so so progress has been really good so far, would you say? Oh, yes. And uh, opportunities are many. So it's a, a growing uh, business line or this is a growing initiative that uh, people are looking at producing chemicals and other products from this as a co-product, another thing. For example, these are the renewable uh, chemicals and renewable materials is a very big subject. Plastics are being banned almost everywhere. And I think this will be a very important opportunity for the agri products to replace plastics with by proper processing, strengthening the raw material. And that's what uh, we are trying to do. Excellent. Great work. Great work. Fantastic. Um, so uh, India is a vast nation, as, as I'm sure you know. Um, uh, can you tell us about the bioeconomy in India? How would you describe its role there? 
Uh, what is the general reception to the idea of a bioeconomy? And what kind of opportunities are, are there existing in the country? See, bioeconomy is measured on three parameters. The bioeconomy is, which is in the healthcare and pharma industry, is one arm. The other arm of bioeconomy is the agri, making the hybrid seeds and other things, GM seeds. And the third is the industrial biotechnology or bioeconomy in the industrial biotechnology area. We are specialized into industrial biotechnology in which uh, these items like uh, sugarcane processing and the co-products is considered. Uh, sugarcane processing into sugar is, is a part of actually bioeconomy, but it is not taken for calculation as of now. But slowly their awareness is increasing that sugar sugarcane processing can give rise to multiple products, value-added products. And I think it should be counted as a part of the bioeconomy. So that is expected to happen. But otherwise, today it is the uh, co-products or the waste products from the sugarcane industry are going towards making the value-added ethanol or other things or chemicals as a part of bioeconomy. So they have been giving a target of going crossing $100 billion worth of bioeconomy in India, in which this part of the bioeconomy in industrial biotechnology is roughly one third. And it's growing very fast, at a very fast pace it is growing. And we also feel that that itself will become a $100 billion industry very soon. Wow. So that awareness, the interest and the uh, facilities are growing day by day. And I think we are talking this subject at the right time because the policies are quite in favorable to bioeconomy as far as the Indian uh, scenario is concerned. So I'm sure that people will be interested to know more about what's happening in the bioeconomy here. Excellent. Seems like progress is being made, which is a, a really, really good thing. Really good. Um, this year, the main uh, focus of the World Bioeconomy Forum is uh, on discussions about climate. So uh, what are your thoughts on this subject? How can the bioeconomy assist when it comes to mitigating climate change? Well, this is a very important the CI calculation. Carbon intensity reduction is a very major agenda. And many companies in India declare their net zero program and in which the bioeconomy is going to play a role. Of course, apart from the traditional uh, re replacement through solar or electric EV and other things, the main area which is going to take shape or going to take place is the use of bioeconomy for reducing the carbon footprints. And that is definitely important view of the net zero agenda. Many companies in India, large and medium size, have declared program from starting with 2030 onwards, Whereas the government of India, for the whole country, they declared 2070 as a time by the time they will have a net zero uh, agenda. All these subjects are getting a lot of incentives from the government, from the authorities, and people have now started realizing the economical sense of going with this kind of a developmental work. Industry is being supported with a lot of research activities and adoption of these new technologies is becoming a very important aspect. So I am sure that going forward, the bioeconomy has got a very major thrust and support from all the all the corridors of industry. That's my personal feeling and observation also. Excellent. Great, great. Um, it's also good to hear that the government's taking such a sort of central role in that. Would you have any comments on that? Oh, yes. Without the government support for taking a central role, it would not have happened. Because now blending, today we are having a blending of 10%. Government has declared a plan to reach a blending of 20% of uh, bioethanol into gasoline uh, within three years. Mm. And that will become the first major milestone. The second milestone is that we will go for flex fuel vehicles. That's the second thing which is in the offing. So that will be the other thing. Uh, for sustainable aviation fuel, a lot of work is happening. Sustainable aviation fuel from the agri sources is also, which is getting introduced by 2027. So you can see the full agenda is full. The like number of things are going to happen on this front that the bioeconomy will start taking more and more shape. Fantastic to hear. So, what are your thoughts on holding a World Bioeconomy Forum event in India? I've got to say, I would absolutely really enjoy that. I really do. I really absolutely love India. 
Um, from our point of view, we would be delighted to organize such an event in your great country, um, maybe in 2023, but what are your thoughts on it? Uh, well, I mean, I've been associated with the Bioeconomy Forum, World Bioeconomy Forum for the last three years now. And today it is more driven by the forestry angle. Okay, I mean, let's be very honest about it. Whereas we have a different parameters has to be also considered. For example, in the, in the states of uh, North India, they burn the agri waste in the field, mainly from the rice uh, straws. And that creates a lot of problem for climate, also for pollution for the, and we get what they call the brown crowds. Now, this is a menace which we have to, we have worked out a solution that this can be converted into cellulosic ethanol. This biomass which is lying in the fields is collected, aggregated, and converted into a value-added product to be blended with petrol. Now, this is a very important, what I what you mentioned in my intro, this second generation cellulosic biomass getting converted into ethanol. So that kind of a thing is on the rise, also from the damaged grains. So these are some of the raw material, agri-based raw material, which has been converted into value-added product, which are helping the climate change mitigation activities because of replacing fossil fuels. The other area which is there, of course, your favorite area is the paper and pulp industry. That is also very much there and they're also making a lot of progress. And there are also some new, newer and newer products are coming up. So these are two distinct uh, areas which will be interested to understand in this kind of a forum conference where we will have a technological exchange of ideas, exchange of technological ideas, and also the progress going happening world over, also that in India. So there'll be a chance to benchmark the work which is happening in India. And I'm sure the, uh, the industry will respond or react it very, very favorably. They will like to participate and understand what's happening. So what we'll have to ensure that we are considering this aspect of biofuels as one of the, or bioenergy as one of the area to be included in the program. That's what is required if you want to make the forum, uh, this conference successful. Sure. I think at the World Bioeconomy Forum, the policy really is to give a platform uh, to the bioeconomy, you know, wherever it may be operating. So I think that there's absolutely no reason why we can't be talking about biofuels because it's such an important area to India. So um, I'm sure that we will have no problem with that at all. So um, this has been a really fabulous interview. Thank you very much. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the World Bioeconomy Forum community of people? I must uh, mention that what I've been observing for the last three, four years, I miss coming to Brazil this time. I could not, but I had come to, uh, I think, Ruka, isn't it? In yes. Finland. Yeah, that was about two years back. Uh, yeah. And I really made uh, happy to meet a number of participants, experts from different, different countries. And it was a very nice experience. And uh, all these advisory board meetings are also quite exciting. And the way you are now focusing on this climate change and zero carbon uh, on the hills of COP26, I think it's very good uh, initiative on the part of the forum. And forum has got a very bright, bright future to make a lot of contribution to this important subject, which is bothering the world at large, that we are able to achieve the zero carbon or reduce carbon footprint and keep the temperature under control for the environment or the sea, water or thing. I think it's a good contribution happening. We'll perhaps need a little bit more direct focus from this angle. I think Excellent. That will be useful. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Um, for everybody's attention, um, our, our World Bioeconomy Forum will be held in Ruka again this year. We're coming back home as we do most years, every one, every one out of two years. So um, we'll be delighted to see you in Ruka if you could come there. Um, so, uh, Dr. Chadhari, it's been an absolute pleasure to be talking to you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much.